Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Rusty Mango Design. In this tutorial we're going to look at how you make files and pages specific to individual users that will be in your customer area on your website. This is for the WordPress customer area plugin. I'm on my dashboard and on the left hand side I have my main menu and the option there is customer area. I'm going to add in a file for a specific customer in my group. I'll click on files and at the very top of my screen I'll click in add new. This is going to be a download for this user so I'm going to just call it download as the title. You can type in a little description, I'm just going to put a little poem in there in the main content area. Skip the next bit, we'll come back to that to talk about in a second, but we want to add a file attachment and you've got a big button here that says drop your files here or click me. I'm going to click on that, just grab any old file I've got here, you could use a PDF or a zip or whatever you like, click on open and once it's loaded it comes up underneath in attached files. Back up a step, we have assignment. This is where we select the person who's going to access this file. And in this case, we've got it set to our generic user, Bob Smith. You can select anybody from the list that comes out underneath, but we'll leave it set to Bob for the time being. As always, we go over to the right hand side of the screen and click on the big blue button. In this case, it says publish. All right, let's go and look at pages now. Exactly the same process. We're going to click on pages over here in my custom area, add new at the top of the screen, and we're going to give our page, our new private page, a name. You can type a whole heap of information there. You, if you are running a professional site and you want to give them some advice, you can type that in there, use that space for whatever you like, it's only for this particular user that we have here. There's no downloads here, okay, this is just a page, so we don't need to put anything down on the bottom here, but we do need to look at assignment and make sure it's set to the right person, which it is, and then we click on publish. Now as I'm logged in as the administrator, I can check which files I've got loaded at any time by coming over here and clicking on files and the pages that I have out at the moment will come up here as well. So as I grow more pages for my users, obviously these two lists will grow. Let's go and have a look at Bob's area of the website to see how it comes up. I'll go back to the main page of the site and I'll log in as if I'm Bob. So here's my main site. Okay, I'm going to click on practitioner portal here and this will log me in. Logging in. Now I'm in my practitioner's portal. This is the private part of the site, the customer's area of the site. The regular visitors won't see this. And you can see that I've got two little menu options here, files and pages. If I go to my files there, it will come up and say that I have a file there waiting published by Toronto, me, the administrator. And if I go to pages, same deal. There's a page there waiting for you. You can archive them, so if it goes on over a few months, your users will be able to go back to the month that they got the file and access it that way. And that's how you add pages and files for your own customers once they are locked in.